Hello, Teacher Adrian here again, your teacher for today. And it's time for a new lesson again. Okay, so before we start, I'd like to greet you first. Merry Christmas or Advanced Merry Christmas. Okay, so my question before we start our lesson is, are you familiar with telescopes? How does a telescope look like? Or what does it do? Okay, look at the picture. Okay, there you go. That one is a telescope. Okay, so what is a telescope? All right, let's read the meaning of telescope in our chat window, okay? A telescope is a cylindrical device that you look through to make objects that are far away look nearer and bigger. Okay, so when you use this one, okay, you get to see things from far distances, all right? They also appear bigger, okay? So you can also use that in taking a look at uh, the space if you want to see stars or other celestial bodies, all right? So why am I asking you this one? It's because our lesson has something to do with telescope of course okay so are you ready for our lesson for today all right very good so let's view our lesson now okay let us read the title the title is a view of space so why a view it's because of course is what I've told you earlier okay uh, a telescope will be discussed in this lesson which utilizes um, viewing of space. Okay, so let's read the short sentence down here. A new telescope will let astronomers see the universe in greater detail. Wow, okay, so they are going to use telescopes to see the universe. Okay, so I want you to look at first this picture right here. Okay, so what is that? Of course, it's obviously a telescope. It doesn't look like the normal telescope, but it's actually a telescope. <laughs> all right, so let's read this caption right here for us to understand fully what this picture is all about. This illustration shows the telescope's mirror. It folds to fit inside the rocket. Okay, so this one is a mirror and it is folded for it to be able to fit inside a rocket. So what is the purpose of this telescope? Let us read and find out. More than 400 years ago, Italian scientist Galileo Galilei built a telescope that let him study space. All right, so who invented telescopes? It's Galileo Galilei, All right? Since then, Powerful telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope okay, have helped astronomers make major discoveries. Okay, so what are discoveries? Or in its base form, it is simply discovery. A discovery is something or the act of finding something that had been had not been known before, just like maybe some things in the universe. Okay, that have not been discovered yet. Okay, and now they are discovered, just such as the planets and any other celestial bodies. Okay, so discovery is there in your chat window for your future reference. Okay, so soon a new telescope will reach even farther than Hubble. So Hubble is a previous telescope. Okay, in October 2018, an Ariane 5 rocket will take the James Webb Space Telescope into space. Wow, so this is the name of the new telescope. It's James Webb Space Telescope. I think it's going to replace Hubble. Okay, that is in October 2018. I think that is less than two years from now. It will travel 16 million kilometers from Earth to give scientists a better view of the cosmos. Wow, all right. So, it's going to travel for a very far distance. 
and what is its purpose? Its purpose is to give us a better view of the cosmos. Okay, there is another term that we need to define first in order for us to understand a sentence. And what is that? The word or the term is cosmos. What does it mean? Cosmos means the universe considered as a system with an order and pattern. So it's about or it has something to do with the universe. Okay, let's proceed. Hubble rewrote astronomy textbooks. JWST spokeswoman Maggie Massetti told TFK. JWST, or the acronym of James Webb Space Telescope, is going to do the same thing. All right, so it is a bigger telescope that will give us a better view of the universe. Okay, so on the hunt for Earth-like planets. That will be studied for our next lesson. I hope you learned a lot today. All right, so teacher needs to go. Advance Merry Christmas again, and I hope you're having a good day. Bye-bye.